Hello and welcome back to Creator Gigi. In today's video, I'll show you how to take accurate body measurements of over 25 um, points of measurement across the body form. I'll be using my body form called Tatiana here today. So before you start to take body measurements of your client or of yourself, there are a few things you need to put into consideration. Like for instance, it is always advisable to put on a form-fitting outfit, a form-fitting dress or trousers before taking body measurements. This is to avoid excessive box around areas that need um, to be fitted like the bust, the waist and the hip areas. So you should always put on a form fitting garment, much like something that I'm putting on right now. Then one other very, very, very important step you shouldn't miss out. You should ensure that your client puts on um, a heeled shoe something they are most comfortable with. It could be something as little as this or something as high as this. But the point is they need to put on um, a shoe, a heeled shoe. This is so that you can get a really accurate measurement like when you want to take the full length of an outfit. So this is really, really important. I have two tips, uh, measurement tips here. One is in inches and the other in centimeters i personally prefer to take my measurements in centimeters because i feel it gives me more accurate reading you can actually take yours in inches it doesn't matter but this is what i work with and so i'm going to keep this aside before we go into taking the measurements of the body we need to understand the, there are certain areas and points you need to clarify when you want to take measurements of your client or of yourself. Number one, you need to mark out the bust line. This is the um, point at the peaks of each of the busts. You need to mark out your waist with a string. The reason I didn't mark out mine with a string is because I already have this line running across the string if you're working with your body form if your body form does not have a string um, these markings like the center front the waist the side seam the side seams or the back measurements my um, body form is quite marked out so i really don't have a problem but if you find out that your body form your model or your person obviously does not have these lines marked out you should at least try to get the at least the waist measurement just put a string around the waist of yourself or your client and then you can begin to proceed so i marked out my hip area this is the and i marked out my tummy area my stomach my abdomen the tummy area then this is my upper my balance line to show my the chest and the back measurement then obviously the bust line so um now we can begin so the first measurement we're going to work with we're going to get is our bust measurement for you to get your bust measurement you come to the um you come to the you come to the peak of the bust of your client that's the the part of the body that protrudes the most out outwards on the upper part of the body and you put your tape across you put your tape across and you just measure you don't put any allowance in your measurement no allowance no ease 
because when you're constructing your block you don't need um, any form of allowance or ease you can always put that when you've created your garment design on the paper you can put your ease before transferring it onto your fabric so you're going to get this is 101 and on my body form this is actually very accurate this is 101 that's 39 and a half inches if we're going to use the inch. so for my waist measurements i am getting um 70 76 centimeters do not add allowance <laughs> So our next measurement is our low waist. The low waist or the abdomen is um, essentially the same thing. So there are some people that will prefer, most times you get clients that will tell you that, oh, I don't, I don't put on my, my trousers on my waist. I don't put on my skirt on my waist. I, this is where I put on my trousers. This is where I put on my skirt. So what you can do, you have to go down about seven, centimeters sometimes you can go six you can go seven and a half you can go seven centimeters down from the natural waist this is our natural waist so we just come down a bit then you put the tape around the tummy around the tummy area so for the tummy of my dress form what do i have the tummy of my dress form, I have um, 96.5. And when you're taking measurements, especially with your centimeter uh, tape, do not approximate to the nearest whole number. I don't, it's not really advisable. If your measurement is 92.1, it's better you write, you put it down at 92.1. If it is 97.7, um, you put it down at 97.7. Do not approximate to the next whole number because, like I said, we're trying to make really fitted garments right now. When you um, have a design you want to interpret, you can add as much ease as you really like, uh, as you desire. So let's move ahead. It's a long, we have a lot of um, measurements to take. So the next measurements we're going to take is our hip measurement. Now for the hip, the hip is the area that protrudes out the most um, on the lower part of the body. So you need to go to the area, that's the, the butt, the area that protrudes out the most in a person's body. And you put it at the peak of that area. Like for me, I put mine here. If I put mine here, this is where I'm going to take my hip measurement from. So. I'm just going to put it around the area that protrudes out the most on my dress form. And I'm going to take the measurement. And the measurement for this area is 102, which is what I got here, actually. So um, after the hip measurement, the next thing we're going to take is the back width. Now to get our back width, let me just turn this around. To get our back width, you need to come from this bone, the very first bone on the neck, come from the very first bone on the neck and measure down 15 centimeters. Then you turn your tape like this, cozy. Then you go from one end to the other end of the back. For me, my back measurement here is um, 38 centimeters so that's how you take the back measurement then the next measurement i'm going to take is my chest measurement as you can see this my balance line lies on my back measurement let's take it to the front for the chest measurement you come down from this point this hollow down here you measure down seven centimeters that's seven centimeters down there. Then you place your tape from one end to the other. And my chest measurement for this dress form is 34 centimeters. Don't add allowance. Don't extend the chest to the underarm. No, don't do that. Just take it from 
one end to the other and let it rest there so the next measurement i'm going to take is my shoulder measurements now for my shoulder length we have two ways to take that measurement there are some people that will take from one end of the shoulder to the other or from the shoulder to the neck i personally use only from the shoulder to the neck but for the sake of this tutorial we're going to take both measurements so you can actually say full shoulder length and you can say um, uh, half shoulder length so just put it that way so for my half shoulder length i'm going to take it from the point my neck meets my shoulder that's from here to the point where my joint comes up so you you put it this way don't extend your shoulder up to this area just put it here like oh better still if you're wearing a really fitted garment you see where the shoulder ends for the person you put it there for me it's here so i'll just put it from here to here so this is 12 centimeters now for the entire shoulder length the full shoulder length we're going to put it from one end to the other which is 40 centimeters now the next part uh, measurements we're going to take is the neck measurement for the neck measurement just put it around the neck put it around the neck and measure now for the neck measurement you can put a ease of one centimeter because you don't you don't want it to be so tight yeah so you, you can put an ease of one centimeter not compulsory you can leave it that way or you can put it because anyway most dresses the necks are usually modified so we don't really use this measurement so much but in constructing our garments we really need this measurement so you can put an ease of one centimeter so if, if i put an ease of one centimeter this will be 37 centimeters okay the next uh, measurement we're going to take is the top arm for the top arm my dress my body form does not have a arm so i'm going to use mine for example you 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 flex your muscle your biceps and the area where it is most bulky you place your tape around that area and around it just all around it and you take that measurement no allowances the reason why you need the top arm measurement is because sometimes when you make really fitted sleeves you don't want it you, you sometimes you might want to make a fitted sleeve and you don't want it to be too loose or too tight and so you really need to understand how much this is and the next measurement i'm going to take is my wrist measurement for you to get your wrist measurement sorry you don't have a wrist you just put it around just take this put it around the wrist and that's all so the next measurement we're going to take is our nape to waist now this is a very very important measurement you should never miss out this particular point when you're taking measurements that's because without uh, understanding how the distance from your nape to your waist you won't be able to uh, um, get a, an accurate understanding of how long the torso is so you should never miss out on this measurement very important so to get our nape to waist you come down to the same bone then you measure it up to the waist for mine this year is 42 centimeters so do not add any allowance very very important so the next measurement we're going to get is our front shoulder to our waist for us to get our front shoulder to waist you come to the the middle you come to the middle in between this this is um 12 centimeter you come to six so you place it at six and you go all the way down to the waist and this is 46 centimeters so the next measurement i'm going to take is our arm sky depth ordinarily our arm sky depth is the distance from the shoulder down up onto this area from the shoulder up onto this area where the arm o lies so you can just come here and 
take it like this yeah it's um 15 but i personally i don't take my um arm sky depth from the front i usually go to the back and place my tape yeah just to take my arm sky depth you can you take it up to the side seam from the shoulder to the side seam i don't place mine at the front because the front is usually smaller than the back so sometimes when i put it at the front i find that that the arm hole is too tight for uh, movement so i rather put it at the back and this will give me a well a more balanced um, outfit we're going to get our waist to our knee measurement so all you need to do is just place this at the waist and measure down to the knee just on the knee and that's all just as the nape to the waist measurement is important this is also a very important measurement don't miss out on it so we're going to take from our waist to the nape the hip area and for me here is 18 centimeter for the next measurement we're going to take from our waist to the floor that's um our um, waist to the floor and this is why i said you should always get your clients to wear uh, a shoe with a bit of elevation a heeled shoe so you place it down here and you measure to the tip to the very end of the shoe where of your clients so that's how you take your your waist to the floor measurement okay. so now we're going to take our shoulder slope measurement so you come here from here the tip of the shoulder and you measure to the middle of the waist and for that we have 48 um we have um 48 centimeters now we are going to take our full length measurement so you just come to the tip of the neck you place it cozy cozy then you come to the waist and this is 48.5 our next measurement is called the full strap so for the next measurement you place the tape at this point at the neck then you come down to the side you come down to the side like this and this is um 48.8 means we're going to take our bust radius now to take our bust radius you come to the point that uh, extends the most from the bust which is the nipple you place your tape here and you just go on the knit you go on that to where to from the most rounded part down to where it meets the body and this is about um nine centimeters let me use mine as an example you come from here down to here that's about nine. hello so i discovered that i forgot to take um, this measurement while editing the video um so i decided to do this um short thing here so you're supposed to take from the tip of the neck down to the under bust that's that um straight arrow down here that's from here down to this place here that is um from the neck to the under bust then i also forgot to includes the under bust measurement so you basically put your tape around the under bust and take it all around the body just like that and that is your under bust measurement one other measurement we need to take is our sleeve measurement to do that you need to get your um client or yourself to flex your arm like this and then you place your tape from the tip of the shoulder down across down to your wrist the reason we don't uh, i don't advise you to take it with your hands down like this is because the shoulder is never completely straight it's usually bent at the elbow if you look at it very well the shoulders are is usually bent at the elbow so for you not to get a very constricting um sleeve you need to take it like this for the short sleeve um, after taking your long sleeve measurement, you can just 
mark it out at this area where you want your short sleeve to be. If you want your sleeve to be at three quarters, you can just mark it out at the three quarters area. But your elbows should be bent when you mark it out. The next measurement we're going to take is the inseam. The inseam is taken from the crotch to the ankle. And this measurement, the crotch is where your your tie meets with your pelvic area so let's assume this is a um, crotch area you take this all the way down to you take this all the way down to the ankle i don't normally take this particular measurement because i don't make very uh, tailored um trousers or um, so often and a lot of people are very particular about that area they'll be like no don't touch me there but <laughs> it's actually an important um, measurement to take if you're um, into really fitted trousers so to take your body rise measurement you need to um, tell your client or you you need to sit down properly sit upright then you go from this point from your waist from your waist put your tape here down to the seat of your down to the seat to where the seat is for me mine is 26 um, centimeters but body rises are usually from 23 to 26 so it depends on the body shape of your client but this is how you take your body rise measurement the body rise measurement is very important for constructing your trouser block it is imperative you take it if you want to construct trousers so the very last measurement you should take is the ankle measurement um, to take that you need to place your tape around the ankle that's where the bone is, where you want your trousers to end. That's your ankle. Or where your trousers typically end. You place it around the ankle. And to get your high ankle, you just go up a bit where your leg is a, your leg is a bit thicker than the ankle. So you can go up six centimeters or eight centimeters from the ankle and just take around that area too and that's your high ankle thank you for watching to the end of this video i really appreciate it i would like you to subscribe that red button um comment like share my content and most importantly click on the notification bell so you do not miss out on any of my content moving forward things are about to get um really interesting down here so in our on the measurements we took to into this class will be put into play in the next series of videos that i'll be posting so don't miss out you'll learn um how to construct um basic um block of the skirt the um the back and the front skirt the bodies the back and the front bodies the the trouser block, the back and the front trouser block, the um, sleeve block, and if there's any other block you would like me to add, you should just um, comment in the, just put it down there in the comment section and I'll get to it. Like if you want me to also include the jersey block, that's um, for making a um, um, stretchy garments garments with a uh, stretchy fabrics if you want me to also if you want me to also make that um block just let me know and i'll see what i can do about it uh, no i'll surely do something about it so thank you for watching once again and bye bye i'll see you in my next video hmm? don't go anywhere um, click the next video peace See you. Bye.